Well, I want the motor and the frame off that parts vehicle, but the body's in the way, so we're going to fix that. If you ever need easy access to your frame and motor, just take off the body. It's so easy. Now I got that pesky body out of the way, there's a few things I want to show you about this frame. Uh, this is a 97 Sidekick, and it looks like it could be useful. Now take a look at this. It's got a solid rear axle, three-link suspension system, um, remote uh, vents for the axle. It's got a sensor for when the suspension moves to change your brake proportioning in the back. Got nice straight frame rails here. Easy to shorten or lengthen or build off of because it's nice and square and easy to measure. Um, Self-contained independent front suspension. All the parts are mounted to the chassis so you can have independent front suspension that doesn't mount to a body or anything like that so you can build whatever you want on this. Steering, double U-joints, so you can put this wherever you want. Uh, it does have a power steering box on this one. Disc brakes, five on five and a half bolt pattern, the same as Jeeps, Broncos, Dodges, a lot of stuff. Um, rear locking hubs are available, some have it automatic. And uh, kind of a handy looking little drivetrain. It's all basically motor, suspension, frame, I could probably have this thing running by just attaching a steering wheel, seat, and some brakes. Uh, on the subject of brakes, they've got a nice setup on this. Now let me take you around to the other side. The brake setup has lines that go from the body where the master cylinder is mounted to the frame with this little rubber connector. So we have one brake line here, one brake line here, and there's another one on the other side. And so that's how you connect your master cylinder to the chassis. All the brake lines are attached to the chassis, so that'd be real easy. Um, kind of makes me want to build something with this. Now, it is light duty, uh, but it's also light. So for a small 4x4 that we aren't going to wheel hard, uh, this might be ideal. Something small with an uh, old bolt pattern. Now, I tried out, I tried out some wheels on this. This right here is from about a CJ5, mid-60s. As you can see, the bolts fit, but it hits the caliper. There's no way I can bolt that on. I tried some earlier 16-inch wheels. The 16-inch wheels would fit and rotate, but they scraped a little. And you can see right there, is where the 16 inch wheels rubbed. There's some minor rubbing on the ribs inside where it's stamped. So I'm gonna see if I can just uh, clearance that a little and make it work. All I did is bend down those tabs a little bit. Let's see what happens.
Now that fits. So, now we have a nice lightweight 4x4 chassis, modern brakes, modern suspension, fuel injected 4 cylinder, possibility of an automatic, the vintage style wheels with hubs that looks just right in an older vehicle. Now, what do I have that could possibly need updated suspension and brakes but still have a good vintage look and is very lightweight? Hmm, let me think on that.